Afternoon, Christchurch North Coast. It's been a crazy week, but here's your ministry minute as always. First thing to look out for is tomorrow morning, we're getting very practical. So we want to take food into Shyamoya. Uh, Lisa is going to meet us at the church at 7 a.m. And we're going to give him food to take in. This is an interim solution. It's literally to get households through the weekend. Uh, so if you've got anything to spare, a loaf of bread, a uh, tin or two or some fruit, please bring that along uh, to the Christchurch North Coast building tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Secondly, uh, our church-wide prayer meeting is happening tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Links will go out for that tomorrow, so please look out for those. And this is for everyone. It's a church-wide prayer service. Uh, there's going to be youth and kids praying. There's going to be older folk praying. And so please, let's get together and pray for uh, what's going on in our country Thirdly, guys, is Sunday. Sunday is carrying on as normal. We're keeping calm. We're carrying on. And we're going to look at the Jesus who reigns supreme of all things. Uh, that's your three things to look out for. And I'm going to hand over to Lizo now, who's going to give us a bit of an update on the ground, what's going on in Shyamoya. Cheers, guys. The situation in Shaiwaya, it's uh, very sad. All the vendors that supply the basic essentials of a community in Shaiwaya have been destroyed. You can imagine in a community that is consisting of 3,000 uh, households to have only one tag shop that is supplying the basic essentials. As if you would go through to Shaga today, you will see long queues of long queues of people trying to get some basic essentials. And the terrible thing of uh, of all this is that there is no vendor in Shamoy that supplies electricity, which is the basic essential to every household. Yeah, the situation is tense and terrible. To be honest and sincere, this time is a terrible time for me. I'm really down on my knees as I'm uh, asking a lot of questions. Am I at the right place right now? But one book that ministers to me, it's uh, the book of the Ecclesiastes, which tells me that all is vanity, human wisdom and everything. So I started asking myself, what do I minister to myself first? As I'm very discouraged, but at the same time, I uh, trust in the sovereignty of God. He's the one who has placed me in this province and is the one who will keep me going in this province if it is unto his will. But I'm at the point where now my heart is really turning, turning back to God and I'm trying to find answers, but yet I know that God will give me answers. Pray that God strengthens me in the my ministry, in the community where I'm ministering. I, I, I'm asking what message should I preach to those who are in this community? I've noticed in my flocks that there is much of lawlessness which is now versus poverty. And God began it last week. I remember last week before all this happened. I was pointing people to Christ that in the midst of leadership, human wisdom and all that, but the only person who could, could give fully enjoyment of life in every situation is our Lord Jesus Christ. They need the message of hope more than any thing else.